way I handled finances as a single before being married um, was pretty, again, we keep going back to how independent I was, but I really did. I, I had this you know, career right after college for so long. Um, I was used to doing everything on my own. I paid my own bills. Um, I worked, I paid my own mortgage. And so for me, I had so much control over my own situations, what I spent my money on, um, what activities I wanted to participate in because of the financial side of it. And I would say for me, I liked that because I could control basically everything that I did and there wasn't anybody else taking from the pot um, that I knew of. And so for me, it was a sense of, um, it helped build my maturity to know that I was able to do it on my own. So in that sense, it really feel like it helped me. Um, it just helped to build my confidence in myself that I was able to take care of myself. But on a downside, um, finances when I was single, I think one bad area is the longer you go, the more it's hard to relinquish it when you do get married. Um, because when you're married, obviously, you know, your joint um, income should be combined. Um, that's what we believe. And it was hard to know that I'm going to have to relinquish that one day when we're married. Um, and then also, I wasn't really great about balancing the checkbook. That would be a weakness of mine. So those are the two things as an independent. I think it, we were both actually, we, were, we had similarities and differences. Uh, we were both frugal. Uh, we, uh, we would both spend money, but we both knew that there was a limit. Um, I didn't have, I kept my balance online. Basically, I'd follow it there, and I didn't count every dollar I spent, but I'd watch, you know, make sure it didn't get below a certain level. If it did, it was like, let's cut, you know, I'll cut some spending here or I'll cut back. So I didn't watch it really cl like closely. Uh, I put a certain percentage of my paycheck away into, you know, retirement, 401k stuff. Um, and then I'd make sure I pay my bills, mortgage, everything like that. And I just watched that balance. But when I wanted to go do something or if I wanted to go get something, I just, you know, it's so easy. You just go do it because who else do you have to answer to or I say answer to, but, you know, consider. Like, well, no, I mean, I've, I've met all my other obligations and everything that needs to be paid for is paid for. So I'm going to spend some money on myself and have fun with it there. We were both actually, we're both very frugal with our money. We were, uh, we were, neither one of us were in debt uh, except for our mortgage payments. So we were in a good position uh, to begin with. We both knew, you know, especially me, like I knew how much money I had in my account. So if at a certain limit, I didn't like to go below. So after I paid my obligations, like, you know, rent and, or I'm sorry, mortgage and bills and everything, um, I, and I had a little spreadsheet put together actually that was kind of like an estimate this is my bills this is my salary commission tithe left over after i put stuff into retirement and everything so i had it i'm kind i was kind of a planner um, but it didn't really come naturally to me but i wanted to be a little more organized with it it's probably one area where we were very different um, i wanted to see where stuff was going not necessarily every dollar but i wanted to be able to track it and make sure i was being responsible uh, with what i was spending um, but I'm more of a, I'm not real big into investments or anything like that, but I would be more of a risk taker, I guess, financially on my own. You know, I didn't have anybody else to think about. So if I wanted to invest in something or if I wanted to spend it on something, it was very simple to do and there was no issue or problem with that. Uh, but you know, now being married, it's, and it's not a bad thing. It's actually fun in a way that we actually get it's one more thing we get to share in uh, an area we get to do life together in.